Eleven Labs has a new way to find the perfect AI voice. If you know what kind of voice you want and you don't want to spend a lot of time looking through the library, browsing and filtering, trying to find exactly what you need, you can now tell Eleven Labs what you're looking for in a voice and it'll generate one for you. Let's take a look. This is the speech synthesis page, which is kind of the main page once you're logged into Eleven Labs. You come over here on the left and click on voices. It'll drop you onto this voices page where you have my voices or the library. The library, of course, is where you go do all the searching, the filtering, and hunting for new voices. We're going to stay on the My Voices tab, and then we're going to come right down here where it says Create or Clone a New Voice, and click this big Add New Voice button. This gives us some options. The very first one is the one we want, Voice Design. Design an entirely new voice from a text prompt. This is also where you can get to the Instant Voice Clone, where you upload a short sample of your voice, and it clones it for you or the professional voice clone where you upload 30 minutes to several hours of audio and you can get to the voice library from this page as well. We're going to focus on this top option, the voice design. We'll click that big button. We've got a couple of things going on here. We've got a prompt. This is where we describe the voice that we want. Eleven Labs has dropped in a prompt that says an old British male with a raspy deep voice, professional, relaxed, and assertive. The next box here is where you put in the text you want the voice to say while you're previewing it. Even though you can just put anything in this box, if you want the best results, it's really important to put text in here that's similar to what you're going to have this voice read in your projects. For instance, this text that's in here right now, the night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London fog. I adjusted my cufflinks. After all, even spies must maintain appearances, especially when the game is afoot. So if I'm trying to create a voice of a little girl for a cartoon, this would be some pretty bad text to use to preview that kind of voice and really hear what it sounds like. So just make sure when you type a prompt in here that you're using some text that's either lines that you already know you're going to have that character read or something that's going to be similarly written to what you're going to want your character to read. We've got a handy dandy randomize button here so we can hit that and it'll come up with a new prompt like a massive evil ogre troll and it'll pop in some preview text that goes with that prompt with that style of voice. I hit randomize a few times and it has this prompt for the voice, deep, gravelly, New York accent, tough and world weary, often cynical. The text it has in the preview is, I've been walking these streets longer than you can imagine, kid. There's nothing you can say or do that'll surprise me anymore. I want to give our voice the best chance for success. So right away, I want to make a change down here. Instead of there's nothing, I change that to there ain't nothing. Now I'll hit generate. I've been walking these streets longer than you can imagine, kid. There ain't nothing you can say or do that'll surprise me anymore. Okay, I'm not quite sure we're getting our deep, gravelly New York accent, but it's an interesting voice. It gives us three generations here, and it starts automatically playing the first one that it came up with. So that was our first option. Let's hear the second one. I've been walking these streets longer than you can imagine, kid. There ain't nothing you can say or do that'll surprise me anymore. And that's definitely a no-go. I've been walking these streets longer than you can imagine, kid. There ain't nothing you can say or do that'll surprise me anymore. Okay, we got something deep and gravelly there. I'm not sure that it nailed the New York accent as well as I would like it to, but it's a cool voice. If you like it and you want to use it, just click the Select Voice button. Let's randomize again and see what else we can come up with. How about an angry old pirate, loud and boisterous? We'll go ahead and hit Generate on that one. And in my experience, it's taken about, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds to generate your three different options. I face storms that would turn your hair white and sea monsters that would make your knees quake. You think you can cross Captain Blackheart and live to tell the tale? That sounded like an angry, loud, boisterous, could-be old pirate. I face storms that would turn your hair white and sea monsters that would make your knees quake. You think you can cross Captain Blackheart and live to tell the tale? I think that one fits. I face storms that would turn your hair white and sea monsters that would make your knees quake. You think you can cross Captain Blackheart and live to tell the tale? I think that's the winner. If you're looking for an angry old pirate, loud and boisterous, there you go. Let's try something different. I was getting bored with the randomize option, so I've got a young American male, confused, indecisive, insecure. And I've got some text in there for him to read. We're going to generate voice. Let me get a, uh, I guess a salad, but no dressing. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll just have a burger instead. I think that one nailed it. Let's try number two. Let me get a, uh, I guess a salad, but no dressing. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll just have a burger instead. Not in love with that one. Let me get a, 
uh, I guess a salad, but no dressing, or I don't know, maybe I'll just have a burger instead. That one actually fits pretty well with how I wrote this prompt. Depending on what other lines I wanted to use that voice character for, I would probably be between one and three on that one. Now we're going to try a wise old bear cartoon character with a southern accent. I'm curious if it somehow will know that I want this to be English and therefore that's an American South accent. Fine morning, ain't it, Mr. Bunny? I reckon I slept out half a month in that dandy cave since it was so darn quiet. Okay, that was kind of fast. Fine morning, ain't it, Mr. Bunny? I reckon I slept about half a month in that dandy cave since it was so darn quiet. Fine morning, ain't it, Mr. Bunny? I reckon I slept about half a month in that dandy cave since it was so darn quiet. Wasn't in love with any of the three of those, so we can hit generate again and get three more. Fine morning, ain't it, Mr. Bunny? I reckon I slept about half a month in that dandy cave. What with it being so darn quiet and all. I definitely like that one for my bear. I think that's the keeper. Now you are using credits when you design voices. You've got a little ticker here that shows how many credits you have remaining. And every time you generate, that decreases. And it looks like the number of credits it's deducting from your balance is whatever the length of this preview text is. Now, if I like this guy and I want to keep him, I can go ahead and click the select voice button, give it a name. I'm going to call him Bubba Bear, set the language, and it drops in the description that I used as my prompt to create this voice. That'll be just fine. I'll say save voice. Here is my Bubba Bear voice. I can come right over here on the right and say, use. That brings us to our speech synthesis page. I've typed in a prompt here. Bubba Bear is my voice. I've got settings. Just like you do with your other voices, you've got the sliders, the stability, similarity, style, exaggeration, and of course the speaker boost. I'm going to bring that stability down just a hair. I'm going to take the style exaggeration up just a bit. I think I'll turn speaker boost off for that one, and I might even bring the similarity down a little bit. Now let's go ahead and hit generate. By golly! Looks like it's fixing to rain something awful. Gonna be a real gully washer if you ask me. He certainly has quite a draw there. I just changed up this prompt a little bit, put an exclamation here after awful instead of the three dots, and I took out some words after the gully washer. I took out the if you ask me. I'm also gonna go over to the settings, reset those back to where they were, I'll bring my style exaggeration up. I'm going to put it at 20 and I'll go ahead and leave speaker boost on this time and hit regenerate speech. And let's see what Bubba Bear sounds like. By golly, looks like it's fixing to rain something awful. Going to be a real gully washer. And I can live with that for my Bubba Bear. Now it looks like the voice design actually may even be available in the free plan. It does have create custom synthetic voices down here and I don't see anything in the starter or creator plans that would indicate that voice design is a feature that limited just to those plans or higher. If you're on the 11 Labs free plan and can let us know in the comments whether the voice design feature is or isn't available in that plan, that would be great. And if you aren't using 11 Labs yet, what are you waiting for? When it comes to AI speech, I just think they're the best. The quality is good. They keep adding features and making it easier to use and more applicable to different scenarios. If you're thinking about doing something with 11 Labs, there's a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, which means if you end up making a purchase, I may receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. But first, try out that free plan and see how it works for you, if you kind of like the lay of the land there or not. And if you do end up making a purchase using my link, please know that I sincerely appreciate it. That's how I feed my family, and I couldn't do it without you. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me while we checked out Eleven Labs Voice Design. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back and see me in the next one.